What up guys, it's boy Magic Man here, and you see we're starting up the series winning with an online ranked with every single team in the NBA. We're going to start with the 76ers, make our way all the way down to the Wizards, and uh, hopefully we get some rage quits in there so we can combine a couple episodes together and uh, get this going quick, because I know I probably could have could do this all in one day, just the gameplay footage, but look at off the bat, Spencer Hawes getting just demolished by Jimmy Butler. Looked like Jimmy Butler was just going straight up. But all of a sudden, like a 2K ghost and their great physics just pushed them and just took out Spencer Hawes. It could have been a serious injury. They got to uh, watch themselves out there. But you see, he, this guy is not that experienced. His record was 0-0, zero and zero, Mr. Sugar X. And uh, he just seems like he was forcing a lot of or a lot of contested shots. He got a, a lot of them to fall, but um, you'll see here he's going strong in the paint with Joe Kim Noah and getting the and one. You know, that's what I was surprised he didn't do. I didn't really have a defensive center, especially with Spencer Hawes. Uh, Deadman off the bench was pretty good, but uh, he could have taken advantage of me with his big man, but he, he wanted to make this a permanent game, and I have Michael Carter-Williams. I got Evan Turner. I got James Anderson, and oh my god, here we go. Michael Carter-Williams playing the fast break, or play, playing the passing lanes and then going on the fast break, but there's so much wrong with these 2K animations that online just... Uh, extensifies. I didn't, I didn't even know that's a word. I'm just going off the top of my head. I'm, I'm kind of brain dead right now. A um, couple things that are just completely broken and, and just so noticeable in online gameplay, like running plays. If you try to run a play, first of all, it takes so much time to get your players in the position. And then once they're in the position, then they don't run the right like things. Like I'll see sometimes that a guy's coming off a screen and he's just joggy. A screener needs to be running as hard as he can. And like, look at that defense. Why is my defense sagging so far? They don't let us do defensive settings. So then all of a sudden we're sagging off on these great shooters. Jimmy Butler is known for, he can shoot the three. So why is my team uh, sagging that far? I have to user over and get a user block on Joe, or not Joe Kim Noah, on Jimmy Butler. So it's tough. You know, look at, look at, I have four people on one guy. They're all sagging in. You know, I understand help defense. You know, I play basketball. I understand that concept, but uh, it's just you can't have like your whole team helping out. As you see, a nice move right before the buzzer puts us up by four points. You know, this guy is keeping it close, but I don't know how it is. Uh, I felt like I was outplaying him the whole game. As you see, I hit a lag spike, and of course, I was doing my dribble moves. So, but it's uh, hooked up to the shot slash dribble stick. Another great idea by 2K. Uh, so I end up pulling the shot. Here we got Lorenzo Brown. Like, look at that screen by Lavoy Allen. That was non-existent. Luckily, defense is so broken that Elliott Williams was open enough to hit the open jumper. And I look at here, taking another shot, airballing with Kirk Heinrich. And Deadman says, get that out of here. Elliott Williams trying to run the break. And like this stupid flat, flashy passes. I'm so glad I have that on a modifier instead of the shot stick on the modifier. And that flashy pass is just a random thing for people who actually do flashy passes in real life. You know, this is just ridiculous. That's just Deadman. Nope. I, I want him to go up straight up, but he tries to reverse layup. Gets blocked. Kicks it out to Elliot Williams. And Elliot Williams lets it go from deep and puts us up, I think, seven. And now we're up five. Uh, Michael Carter Williams getting doubled. Kicks it. Emma Turner gets the pump fake and does a nice try to scoop layup. Trying to avoid contact, but he does end up drawing the foul on Tony Snell. Here we get a nice little pick on a, on a play we're running. Try to get it around. We all four people have touched it. And where's Evan Turner? Evan Turner is our fifth teammate to touch it, and he gets it to go. Up by eight. Now, only up, yeah, still up by eight. 20 seconds to the left. Tony Snell, we get blocked by Michael Carter Williams. It's probably going off his head, but of course, 2K physics. The guy doesn't get out of the way. He comes in and just kicks the ball. Then he forces another shot. Boozer is just dominating the offensive glass in the in the first half. And he's picking up where he left off in the start of the third. And this man is only down by four. Then we get the ball with Thaddeus Young posting up. Then he faces up and he sees the open space and hits it with a fadeaway jumper. You know, I'm trying to work on my face-up game and uh, in my, in my post-up game so I know how to do score with these big men that are that are supremely skilled like a Thaddeus Young. Um, as you see there, he hits a contested jumper with Boozer. But then he leaves me wide open. Like right there, I just did a simple drive. Got all five of his guys to collapse. And then all of a sudden, my shooters are open. Then here you see he forces a stupid shot. I don't know why I took that. Gets it up to Michael Carter-Williams. And Carter-Williams with the throwdown uh, to put me up by four. Now up by four. Another slacking. I had a user and tried to jump over. Luckily, he shot it. And then we get Evan Turner with the rebound. Evan Turner kicks out to Michael Carter-Williams. Gets some space. 
and you know that's good. Stop, pop, buckies, as my boy Swifty would say. Uh, and then here on the break, Anderson kicks it out, or not kicks it out, throws the alley-oop to Evan Turner, who lays it in. Um, this team isn't that athletic. You know, it's a, it's a fun team to use. Um, you know, they've got good players. Michael Carter-Williams is great. He doesn't feel as good. They got a couple good shooters. Turner is just cashes out from wherever you shoot it with. Right there, James uh, and Anders, or Anderson, or I don't even know anymore. But look, look at Lorenzo Brown getting up for the two-handed and one over Carlos Boozer, my boy from NC State. And you think he's going to make the free throw? Of course he's making the free throw. But uh, this is this is a really fun team to use, especially because it's a lot of people don't think you're going to be doing a lot of good things with this team. It won't compete with the Miami Heat or a Knicks or something like that. As you see Lorenzo Brown on the fast break, slamming it again. Then we see an opening on the backdoor alley-oop, and Evan Turner does finish. So, oh my god, you see that double animation, <laughs> both Evan Turner and uh, Taj Gibson hit that same little like Tiger Woods celebration. Here we got Lavoy Allen getting the nice defense and the rebound up to Evan Turner for the and one dunk. So here we're pulling away up 16. Evan Turner's got a really weird free throw. He's got a good shot. I like his jump shot, but his free throw feels re really weird. As you see, look at that. I do one simple pick and it just sucks in the defense and Evan Turner is left wide open for three. So then after a five second violation, we got the ball back to hit the last shot. Evan Turner spins out of his triple threat position and look at that makes a nice mid-range jumper to go up 20. 0.3 seconds left in the third quarter. This guy's trying to do a nice full court pass, but nothing results from it. And then you see we're trying to do some substitutions and you know what happens. The Swift quit, the Rage quit, the Magic Man poof. There it was. But hopefully you guys liked the video. Uh, I should be bringing out some more of my GM and some other modes and Swifty should be putting some up too. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.